Welcome back to the floor of the CME Group here in Chicago, Thursday, December 9th. I'm Jeff Kilberg from Treasury Curve, better known as the killer in these parts. Treasury Curve is an institutional money market portal. We assist firms in their overnight cash management. Now I want to talk a little bit about trade, but more importantly, let's get into the zone, the CMZ zone. Overnight, we had a couple things transpire. You know, it's, it's the most important thing I'm seeing right now is this continued bid in this S&P. It's a very sneaky little bid. Let's talk about that. Last yesterday, that 28. 875 level. They touched it three times. They came off. Yesterday at 314, electronic e-mini contracts open from 3 to 315. At 314, they decided to take that out and put a new high in. Very sneaky bid. Interesting though. They're, they're making new highs and that's why I'm a little suspect. I'm raising an eyebrow right now to this rally because there is not the volatility. There's not the price action. There's not the volume that you typically see on an up move like we're currently seeing. So a couple things uh, transpired this morning. Jobless claims down 17,000. They put a little bit into it, but I don't think that actually put a bit into it. Let's look at the jobless claims last week. They were down four, or excuse me, up 46,000 last week, and the market rallied. So I, I don't think that's a barometer anymore. I mean, I know we have an auction today, and the treasuries are kind of dictating where this market is going. But l let's look a little bit overseas as well. You know, there's a Fitch downgrade in Ireland, and currently the currency is getting beat up a little bit. So I want to cover a few different things today. Let's get into the zone first with the treasuries. Treasuries, just a violent, violent trade yesterday. Yeah, I mean, it's a continued. You see those 10 years, you're seeing volume, you're seeing volatility. It's an exciting trade. Play it, they're giving it to you. And like I stated yesterday in my report, Uncle Sam sold the low tick. I said, be certain of that. And guess what? Uncle Sam, the auction went off at 3.32. He sold 20.04. 120 handle, 04 was the price. That was the low of the move. We're currently about a point above right now. Seeing a little bit of retracement here. Clearly it was overdone, but with that 30-year auction today, be mindful. I think they may come and uh, get those 30 years a little bit today due to the fact the Fed's got a lot more money to spend on those long-term rates they want to keep down. Wild move. Be mindful of these levels. Be careful. Let's talk a little bit about these levels. You know, the 10-year overnight, 120.18 and a half, all the way up to 121.05 and a half. Daily pivots coming in at 120.27 and a half. That pivot's a great pivot. Play it. In the third year, you know, 121.14 overnight to 122.08. You know, at 122.03 level, I, I feel confident there's a retracement back above there. We came from four, five points. I mean, it was trading 125 handle two days ago. It's remarkable, this move, that violent death roll I talked about. We're seeing it. But if we get a little bit of retracement here after this auction, they could uh, back and fill, typically you see on that chart. So be mindful of that. But the daily pivot in the third year, 121.28. You know, there, there's a low overnight of that. That 30 year of 12027. They may retest that prior to this auction because the last three days they've been selling it before the auction. And obviously the first auction they sold it all the way down, but yesterday they bought it after the auction. So be careful of that. Let's talk a little bit now about the spoo. You know, I talked yesterday above 28. That 2875 was a pretty key level. If they get above that, they were gonna use the Dr. J heat seeking missile to take out that 35. And they did overnight. Now that's why I have to raise an eyebrow again on this overnight moves. We're seeing this volume, the lack of volume, this volatility overnight where no one's really here. So new high in the SPOO, 38. It's a marginal new high in the contract. Currently it's come off there. They sold the open. They kind of stayed bid a little bit, but they broke it down uh, to an overnight low of 27. So be mindful that there's so much support down here. I've spoken to this, but nothing really matters until we get under 12.16. We get under 12.16, some things can start happening. Under 12.12 is a key number. 12.07 is that weekly pivot. Let's watch that. Let's talk about Europe. You know, this downgrade from Fitch of Ireland. We saw that coming, and what do these ratings services mean anymore? Do we trust them? That's a question. That's a conversation for another show. But the weekly pivot in there, I've spoken to so many times, 132.61. It's been great. Play it. It went up overnight, 133. Went all the way up to the 100-day moving average of 133.31. Stopped just short of it at 27. Came back. And now there's some protests going on in London. They're raising tuition. There's, there's some crazy stuff going on over there and be mindful that over the weekend with, with China they could be raising rates if that Saturday number comes out you know not the way they want it so just watch for that but that 200 day moving average I think that's where we're going we're under the weekly pivot in the euro currency we're going down to 131.36 that's a great level to play maybe we bounce off there maybe we go under but until we get under 131.23 I don't think there's a reason to press it too hard but under 131.23 bye bye grandma 
she's gone. She's going down to 127. Be ready for that. So once again, I'm the killer from the CME Group here, the CMZ production. Remember, one thing, be the hammer, not the nail. Hey.